angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi beautiful people, I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for November 16th through to the 22nd. I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot cards by my dear friend Radley Valentine. So let's see what the Angel's guidance is, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so this beautiful card actually came up a couple of weeks ago, I believe, maybe three weeks ago during Mercury Retrograde. And it says, children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. Now, if you can hear noise in the background, my cat Rumi is definitely playing. So that might be a sign for you to play more. However, this card is also remembering that reviewing the past is a gorgeous thing if it means that we uh, tapping into that playful part of us, the part of us that needs healing, the part of us that needs a hug, all of that is really beautiful. But we don't want to stay stuck in the past. We don't want to, you know, stay in the, oh, I wish things were how they used to be, or I wish things could have been different. It's more about honoring our feelings, honoring the past so that we can then move forward, especially because we're all still feeling that new moon in Scorpio energy that was going on yesterday. And it's really about us healing emotionally so that we can then welcome in the new. Okay, so this card is beautiful. All right, and then we have the Queen of Air, which is also often known very much as a decluttering card. She is brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career or even divorced or unmarried individuals. So she represents very independent people, but also um, she's very helpful, as we just said, about releasing and particularly because of Monday or Tuesday's card, it feels like there is a theme occurring here. So for us to um, emotionally and physically let go of things that feel heavy so that we can feel lighter, making sure that we don't get dragged down by our letting go, but keeping it light wherever possible, okay? Ah, uh, interesting, because the third card about healing and letting go, this one actually says, great sadness that will heal with time, let go of the past, personal growth that comes from challenges, healing misunderstandings, and being there for those in need. So honoring our emotions around the past feels very important, but still letting go, still knowing that we are supported as we end situations or phases in our lives. Remembering that the angels, you can call on the angels to help you, to comfort you, and also be an angel to someone else in need if that's the situation you find yourself in. Talking of that, my brand new book, if you haven't seen it, Messages of Grace, 111 Notes of Love and Guidance from Your Angels is out right now on Amazon. It came out on Friday and I couldn't be happier with the response. It's already number one in new releases in the Angels category and I'm so excited about it. Um, I'm actually going to be live on Radley Valentine's Facebook page this Wednesday at 4 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. Eastern, talking about the book and sharing lots of fun with him, as well as a couple of different lives. First of all, with my friend, Cat on her Facebook page tomorrow, Tuesday, and then my friend Steve Wentworth on Thursday. So if you would like to um, listen, watch any of those, us having fun, sharing the book, I would love to see you there. Don't forget, if you don't already know, that if you purchase my book on Amazon before the 22nd of November, you can also collect some free exclusive gifts 
So if you've been thinking about buying the book, this week is a particularly great week to do so. Just uh, visit the link below that I'll post below, um, order the book and then go, go back to the website to enter your details and you'll receive the free gift. So I just thought to end, I would share a message from the book. You can actually just turn to any page in the book and know that it's the message that's meant for you. Or you can um, literally choose a number between 1 and 111 and see what it is. I chose 46 and the message is actually very appropriate for the weekly angel reading. It says, life is precious dear one, live it and love it the best you can because while your soul is eternal, your earthly life can change in a second and all you will take with you as you leave is love and joy. You won't hold on to all the things you stress about now. So embrace the present moment and love, love, love each other. We love you, your angels. So given the fact that we've been asked so much this week to let go of the past, I feel like it's a beautiful reminder to let go so that we can really embrace the life that we have now and make the most of it. Have a gorgeous week, everyone, and I will see you throughout the week for those Facebook Lives with my friends and the Daily Angel messages. And Thank you again for your support with this beautiful book. I'm so, so proud of it. Much love. Bye-bye.